should be obvious that I am recording this segment one after the other. Now, we've established last in the previous playthrough that the kids that this hatchet man here is holding hostage are really, really fucking dumb. So, I have no doubt that I can do the fight in under 10 minutes. That's easy. The hard part will be escorting the dipshit children from from Paradise Plat for from uh, the North Plaza to here to all the fucking way through Paradise Plaza. Though at least it's right here at the entrance of North Plaza. Although I wish it was closer to Sion's supermarket so I could use that that awesome shortcut. And if I happen to fail out the quest, or fail out of, um, Professor's Past, I'm reloading the game. I'm reloading. I don't think you get a transmissionary call from, uh, Otis here. Damn well better not. Fantastic. And by the way, the song here is called Slave, performed by the Evolutionaries. I did actually get a copyright notice about this, but copyright holders of this song aren't douchebags, so they don't care if it's used. Nor should they, because this is if it weren't for this game, nobody would ever have heard of this song. I... I better be able to do this quick. Oh, fuck. Yes! Got him. So we all know this guy's unfortunate story. Uh, so now I got about seven minutes of, of real time to... Joshua. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. See, look, look at this shit. Both of them are held up. Oh, oh, oh there's one zombie. I don't know what to do. I think both of those fuckers that got stuck on one zombie were the two that died in the previous playthrough. I'd have to look back at my LP to find out, but I'm pretty sure those were the two that died, and Rich was the one that was saved. Though, though if I'm wrong, I really don't care. I know, I know the, I know the fat girl died. 
I know that for certain, because I remember the visual of her getting eaten and devoured by the zombies. The zombies did not go hungry that day. Follow me! Follow me! That wasn't quite a fat joke. That was partially a reference to Borderlands. When Tannis is talking about the fat girl Shimei being eaten. And she says the skags will not go hungry tonight. Oh. Where the fuck is Barbara? Jesus Christ. I don't know what to do. I'm surrounded by two zombies. Help me. I'm too stupid to push my way Come through. On. Come on. Uh, oh, nice. Perfect timing, actually. Yeah, he's going there to just get food cuz he's a, he's also fat. And this plate, uh, we know he's fat because he riots because there's no food, and he admits that he eats like five times more than normal people. Uh, where's that snack? Once again, cut through all that bullshit just so he does, just so he can get out. And here you go. Fantastic. <laughs> Come on, talk, 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 talk. I'm like, time's a waste in here. I only got about. I don't even. Ha I barely have three minutes. Come on, let's go! Undelay, undelay! Undelay, undelay! Follow me! Follow me! Come on! Follow me! Let me guess, Barbara. There was a single zombie in your way, so you didn't know what to do, and you, you got confused. I'm actually kind of stressing a little here. At least they're all here. This Get off! Don't you tell me that you're stuck. Oh, you fat fuck. Oh, I only got two minutes. Come on. Have exactly two minutes. Come on, let's go. Let's go, 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 go. Gotta get this quest. I gotta get this case done. Follow me. Follow me. Come on. Follow me. Go. Get out of the way. Come on, move it, fatties. We ain't got all day. Or I certainly don't. Follow me! Come on! And I should probably just abandon them for right now. Because they're probably gonna fight. Yeah. Out of the fucking mm, you fat Ugh. Oh God, come on. Come on. Follow me. Ooh, okay. 
Less than a minute to spare. And keep in mind, I'm at level 50. Meaning that I'm fully buffed, I'm fully OP, and I got some of the best weaponry in the game. Imagine doing this from level 1. Yeah, right, motherfucker. Now, I will admit that if, if I had not been a dipshit and I would actually remembered to get, um, what's-his-face the medicine, <laughs> then that would have given me a few more minutes. I will, I will admit that that was my fault. And I am afraid I can't get the coward yet. Because it's almost noon, so we're going to be talking to Kent to give him the erotic, that very erotic photo. And if I recall correctly, Kent will just bamf into existence. Unlike every other psycho in the game. Spotted in a cop. Okay, I got plenty of time for that one at least, so. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, you can hear, you can hear Kent firing at zombies. I'm getting some queens. Uh, come on, give me the queen. Queen. Thank you. Uh, Kent, where even are you? Where the fuck is Kent? Where is that motherfucker? He's nowhere to be found. There you are. Now, he will, if you give him the wrong picture, he will laugh at you and you'll never be able to continue the quest from here. But, get your best erotica photo ready. Well, come on, let me... Yeah, that's the one. I'm not showing off the laughing at you one. luck. That's all. Let's have one more. Just one more contest, Frank. Be here tomorrow at noon. We'll settle this. I took a damn sexy picture. So I've got to I gotta take care of um I gotta take care of the coward right now. Or else he'll probably be gone. I believe I don't wanna take too long on uh the above the law case because I think if I take too long she'll kill some of the hostages she has in there. Though I could be mistaken. Either way, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna wait around on that one either. And I can almost guarantee that I'm going to have to I can almost guarantee that I'm going to have to encounter the Raincoat Cult. Because I think 1 p.m. is on the second day is when you get the cutscene of, uh, of uh, Jennifer Gorman being put in the box. About to be sacrificed to, um, what's his name? Sean Keenan. I think his name is.
And... What are we doing here? And like four, we're kicking this guy in the ass. Let's go. Okay. And give me one second here. All right, sorry about that. I was just getting readjusted. Come on, Gordon. Unfortunately, I don't think I can carry this guy. See, this is, and this is daytime, Alfresca Plaza. Do you see why you want to avoid this place at at all costs? Now where the where the fuck did he go? Follow me. Come on, you fucking asshole. Follow me. Come on. Follow me. Follow me. This is why I carry queens around, so I don't have to bother with this shit. Also, uh, if you're under the effects of nectar, Follow apparently me. queens are more likely to show up on zombies. I don't know how true that is, but either way, it makes one fly right to your location. Let's see, how many hours until the thing? Uh, yeah, I got only 50 seconds. Actually, maybe I can make it without triggering a uh, raincoat cult. Okay, ooh. Follow me. Less than 20 seconds. Woohoo. Come on. Follow me. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh yeah, Gorman. So, this is going to be simple as long as nobody reaches into their pocket and try to abduct me. Yeah. <laughs> no way. Now, because, now because of the cutscene... There's not going to be any enemies for a little bit. Come on. So, definitely use that to my advantage. Follow me. Come on. Come on. Uh, go okay, wait, I can hold hands. So, we're using the hold hands mechanic. Whipping her all the way. Oh, queen. Queen, queen, queen. 
Okay, and... Yeah. Oh, and sometimes they'll just stop and cry for no fucking reason. I get that you're probably traumatized by being near- by n kidnapped and nearly sacrificed, but, uh, let's get the fuck moving, shall we? reason I'm not holding hands is because I want to actually clear out this hit. uh oh wow that was so much Over to clear there. one freaking or two zombies follow me come on get over here you stupid ass Okay, I got over five minutes to do Above the Law and subsequent, uh, events. What? about ready to win. Winning me another queen here. Unfortunately, I have to wait for the flight down. Oh, I think a baguette just dropped. which way to go. I think I should go this way just because of Nick and uh, Sally, I think her name is. The two people hanging from the giant rabbit. I think they're hanging at this time. Yes. Okay, good. Fuck them. Why you carry a surplus? And conveniently, th these hunks of meat exist just so you can. Excuse me. Okay, how much damage does this do? Oh, not that much, actually. Certainly. Certainly less than half the damage it would have taken had I, uh hit him with it. And 
we saw how easy this boss was the first time, let alone now that I'm level 50 and super OP. I bet this boss will die in like five hits. One, two, three. Okay, let's actually get away from K so I don't kill. Get up! Fucking bitch! Oh well, I can afford to lose one survivor. Whatever. I can afford to lose one, especially given that, uh, I saved her in the last playthrough, so I don't... There is an achievement for getting all, uh, all of the, all the information in the notebooks, and it will not fill out if, um, you never save them, or if they're a psychopath if you've never defeated them. Oh shit. Raincoat call. Follow me! Follow me! Come on! Actually, I do believe that uh, Nectar is causing more queens to appear on zombies. It's fine. Actually, it's gonna line up pretty damn well with what I want. Over there. As long as none of these assholes get themselves killed, Janet. Fucking move! I told you to go somewhere! Don't fuck around because. Oh, there's a zombie in the way! I don't know what to do! Nick, you asshole! Get out of the way! I have a feeling that when I get the. Rinko cult leader case. Come on. Well, I have a feeling my anger is going to come to a head with that fight. Follow me. I do. Oh, this fucking douchebag. This actually happened on the Niskel's LP as well. Fucking, he decided to climb in there because he's a fucking dumb asshole. The hell? Why would he do that? If I was being Follow really me. anal, I would, uh, or if I was going for A rank, I would have to reload because she killed that one bitch. But because I'm not going for A rank, 
then it is absolutely fine that I... It is absolutely fine that that one died. I have a little bit of room to make mistakes. They're fighting. Two, three, four, and five. And sometimes they get in your damn way and you can barely get in at all. So I'm done escorting survivors for right now. And so on that note, I think I will actually try and kill Isabella with the small chainsaw and not do the knife or uh, handgun cheese that I did last time. Even though that is Again, not the fastest, but it's consistent at least. Um, going through... And going through the shortcut in the bathroom is most definitely faster than going through the maintenance tunnels, but I'm going through the maintenance tunnels. I'm... I feel I'm very, very far behind on Zomp zombies I need to kill in order to get my uh, 53,594 quota. Not even a third of the way there, and I've used up one of my days already. I mean, not that it takes a, not that it takes oh gosh. Not that it takes a very long time to kill a couple thousand zombies, but I'd really rather not. I'd really rather get it. What happens here? Oh good, it just warps straight to the cutscene. Oh nice, I I merged in her. What where'd she go? I don't really want to follow her out because as I've stated <laughs> As I've stated, going outside the comfort area there will cause you to fail. So at this point, uh...
So at this point, this is gonna be a shortish segment, but it's over half an hour, and we got some time to kill, so... Next time I play this, I will be... saving a few more people, obviously, and running over more zombies. So... I will see you guys next time for more Dead Rising survive saving as many survivors as possible playthrough without losing my fucking sanity. So, goodbye for now.